Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the video. Uh, in this one, I'm taking Mr. Potato Head, stolen from my kid, gonna put him in a photo composition. Uh, is that weird? Yes. Uh, is it okay? Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go kind of through this quickly um, to show you what I'm doing, but if you have any uh, questions or you need to learn more about these techniques, um, I got them all covered, each one in depth, down below. Check the description. So I'm starting here. Uh, I took a picture, a bunch of pictures of Mr. Potato Head here, and now I'm just cutting him out because um, I wanna isolate him. And I'm using the pen tool with rubber band mode selected. So that allows me to go around and make a pretty precise selection of Mr. Potato Head. And I'm just going through, cutting him out here. Um, so that way I can uh, further work with my photo comp composition once he is cut out. So now that I've cut him out, I'm going to use the mask option up in the top left there. That will remove the background. And then from there, I will zoom in, take a look at him. I can see there's some stuff above his arms and between the ears there that I wanna cut out. So again, I'm gonna use the select, select my layer. I'm going to use the pen tool with rubber band mode selected. I'm going to uh, select the area I wanna get rid of. And I know I don't want this, like I won't wanna use this again. Um, it's just unnecessary. So I'm gonna select that, make a selection in the top left corner there. And this time I'm gonna use my eraser tool and just erase uh, the background or the part that I don't want, which will now become the background. And I'm just doing the same thing on this side as well. My, uh, I've got the pen tool. I'm gonna make a selection. I'm gonna get my eraser tool and I'm gonna erase that. So now this is Mr. Potato Head cut out. Um, his, his feet look a little boxy, but that's okay. Cause what I'm gonna do, you won't really need to, uh, it won't really, you won't really notice that. Uh, next, uh, there's some shadows here, um, some highlights uh, on, his, on his head there and his body from the light. Cause I'm not really professional at a photography. I took this with my phone, but I wanna remove them cause I may not want them in the photo composition. So what I did is added a new pixel layer uh, right there at the top of my uh, layers. And now I'm just using my paintbrush and I'm just selecting uh, areas really close to where the shiny spots are. And I'm just painting over top just to cover it up. So yeah, I'm literally just going next to where it's shiny. I'm selecting a spot and I'm just painting it with my paintbrush over top with the same color to um, get rid of those shadows. So uh, again, if you're not familiar with any of these techniques, I'm linking some videos below, which will explain all that stuff and it should, uh, should clear it up for you. So yeah, just get rid of some shadows here uh, on his feet and on his uh, body. And uh, he's looking better, it's looking better. I'll show you here what it looks like in a second before and after. It's, it's subtle, but it helps. Um, it just gives me more of a base when you're starting the photo composition, um, you know, just to, uh, just to start. Okay, so next I'm actually taking a potato and I'm using the freehand selection tool, which I rarely use, but I'm gonna use it for this one because I want to give him sort of a potato texture. So I'm isolating the potato, cutting him out, uh, and then I'm gonna put him sort of on top of the potato. And I was playing around with blend modes. Um, and what I'm gonna do is actually just take the potato and I'm gonna end up clipping him inside of the uh, Mr. Potato Head. So he's kind of clipped inside there. So I'll take him and I'll clip him on top by dragging on top of the layer. Now the potato is actually um, embedded. It's clipped inside of the Mr. Potato Head. And I also did a curves adjustment to make the potato a little bit darker. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is something, I'm gonna use a, a mask. If you, again, if you don't know this technique, I'm linking it below, but I'm gonna put a mask on him. And uh, so I'm gonna take the potato layer, I'm gonna put an empty mask on it, which will make it disappear. So you'll see that in a second. So empty mask, it's gonna disappear. And then with that mask selected, I'm gonna take my paintbrush and uh, painting in white, I'm gonna paint back some of that potato texture. Um, so it, it's, uh, it's, he's not, a, he's not, a, it's some of his texture and some of the actual potato texture to kind of give it, you know, somewhere in the middle. So I've just got my brush here and I'm just painting on some of the potato texture onto him to make him look kind of realish and kind of fake at the same time. Uh, maybe like a lot of people who are walking around Los Angeles. Oh, okay. Bad, bad joke. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to, <laughs> I recorded this earlier. Now I'm trying to do the audio over top and it's a bit weird. So um, now I'm just taking some brushes and I just, I'm just trying to rough them up a bit. So I'm darkening um, his, his hands and, and uh, his, his feet and his mouth, just trying to make him look a little bit rougher. I'm drawing some uh, bloodshot uh, stuff on his eyes here to make him look a little bit more crazy or perhaps stressed out for the composition we're gonna put him in. So I'm just going through and just randomly picking some spots here, um, changing blend modes and just uh, just seeing what it looks like. I'm adding some cracks to him or some more uh, textures just to make him look a little bit more rough. And he's starting to look a little bit better. He's looking a little bit rough now. Uh, I'm gonna do some stuff on his ears here. 
and probably down do I'll do with some of his mouth later. And uh, so this is the background picture I'm going to use. So I want to put Mr. Potato Head in this city as if he's sort of destroying it. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to make him fit in the photo. If I just put him on top, he's just going to be sitting in top. So what I want to do is put him behind a couple buildings. So what I'm doing is using the pen tool and I'm selecting, uh, I'm going to take a couple buildings here and I'm going to make a selection of this building. And then once the building is selected, I'm going to make a copy of it. So I'm copying the layer. So now you'll see I have two buildings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sandwich Mr. Potato Head behind that first building. So we have the original background, Mr. Potato Head, and then the copy of the building to make it look like he's behind that building. Just to make him look like he fits in the picture a little bit better. So now I'm doing the exact same thing right here. I'm cutting out this uh, building and all I'm doing is making a copy of it. So I make my selection and uh, I make a copy of it. So when it, once it's a selection, you can go Command J or Control J to copy it. And now I have a second uh, building copy there. And I'm again, I'm going to put Mr. Potato Head and I'm going to drag him behind those two. If you look in the layers panel underneath. So now he's behind both those buildings. So it, he looks more like he's in the actual photo as opposed to just sitting on top of it. So uh, pretty simple uh, technique, but it makes it look, you know, a little bit more realistic. Now I'm messing with the background a bit, just making it a little bit darker, setting more of a, a mood while I do that. Uh, and I'm also going to darken Mr. Potato Head here and do a little bit with colors. It's a kind of a blue, bluey, purplish sort of background here. So I'm just messing with some colors here. Uh, and now here I am sampling the light because he's going to have a light source coming from his, uh, well, his right side technically. And what I do is I create a fill layer. I change that fill layer to screen. So it's like a bright shadow. So I've selected the color I want. And now I'm clipping that uh, inside Mr. Potato Head. I'm inverting it so it turns off, almost like putting an empty mask on it. And considering the colors there and just hidden, now I'm just painting it back on. So again, I put a new fill layer in. I set it to screen in blend modes. I clipped it inside Mr. Potato Head so he was all blue. Then I hid that layer. And now I'm painting portions of that layer back in just to um, give him some highlights, some sort of um, as if the light was shining on him from that side. You could do this a bunch of different ways. You could just create a new layer, clip it inside Mr. Potato Head and paint it on. Um, I'm just doing it this way. Um, there's people that do it all different ways. There's really no wrong way. Um, I'm also doing this kind of fast because I only, the only I only have time when my kids go to bed. So I'm kind of doing this late at night. Uh, I, I wish I had more time on most of my compositions, but, um, I don't really have time for that these days. So, um, yeah, I'm just painting in some of the shadows that are up showing on the, well, on the screen on the top left there. Um, which would be coming on on his right just to make it look a little bit and I'll turn it on and off so you can just see with the shadow You know, it adds a little something to make it look like he's actually there and uh, now I'm uh, I want to darken him a bit And so I'm putting curves adjustment on him So he's darker, but I want to make his right side a little bit lighter So I put curves on I invert the curve so it's off and then I paint the um, uh, Shadows away or I paint them back depending on what I'm doing just so one side of him is a little brighter uh, that's closer to the lights there and one side's a little bit darker. Uh, and now uh, what I'm going to do is add some stuff, um, some more highlights on the one side of him and I will start painting in some stuff at the base to kind of hide his feet and make it look a little bit more like he's actually, you know, being destructive or causing a bit of an issue. So I've sampled some of the, the orangey, yellowy color on the right and started painting in some stuff and I'm sampling the purple on the left and I'm painting in some kind of cloudy dust uh, smoke type stuff. I'll use some black and some some white or some light gray to kind of make it look foggy and sort of um, You know, just a little bit more chaotic So I'm doing that there with some cloud brushes that I have um, And I'm just duplicating the layers and changing the blend modes just to see what looks good So this is coming together Not so bad. I'm gonna add some smoke uh, To some of the buildings in the background just to make it look like it's a little bit in distress I didn't have a, I should have spent some more time on the background to be honest with you, but, um, just, uh, you know, just, just kind of going through and adding some stuff just to add a few, a few things, some extra smoke and some extra highlights playing with a couple things here. Some things you, you start and you, you start doing them. You don't really realize, you know, they don't really look so good. Um, in this part here, I wanted a bit of a light behind him. So I just created a circle matched to the color, um, of that bluey white light in the top left. And I put a Gaussian blur on it to blur it behind him. So there's sort of the shadow behind him. And here I'm just adding like particles to make it look like as he's stomping or destroying things, or there's, you know, some kind of fire, there's, there's stuff in the background. 
I'm adding an airplane here, uh, sorry, a helicopter. And uh, I'm playing, playing with the colors to make it fit in here. Uh, I'll add another helicopter as well. And I'm gonna add, also add a light and I'm gonna use the pen tool to do that. So I'm gonna draw as if the helicopter has a spotlight on him. I'm gonna change the blend mode. I'm gonna make it a little bit blurry. And then I'm gonna uh, add a mask to it so I can kind of play with the, um, the, the, the intensity of the light. So it's not so bright, but it looks like there is a um, spotlight on him from one of the helicopters. And then I'll duplicate the helicopter and I'll move him over to the other side, flip him to horizontal. Um, excuse me, I have to cough. <coughs> oh gosh, so sorry everybody. And now I am just darkening the uh, bottom up here just to make it look, um, you know, as it goes down into the, sort of the chaos, it's a bit darker on the settled on the bottom, a little bit more chaotic on the top there. And um, now I'm just you know, looking at the blend modes and looking at the colors to see um, what's saturated and what's not. Um, his glasses and his hat are a little bit too saturated. I tried to play with that a little bit um, just to make it look a little bit better, but we have a real city and a fake potato man. Um, so, you know, just trying my best to, to blend it together and see how it looks with different lighting and, and things like that. So, um, now I do something where I flatten the whole layer. So everything now, if you look at my layers panel is one layer and I'm going up to the develop persona and I'm just going to mess with some of the vibrance and the clarity and the colors just to kind of make it uh, pop. And, um, you know, this is, there's no uh, wrong answer. You can kind of do, if you did this a hundred times, you do it a hundred different ways. Um, you just kind of look at, eye it up what you think looks right. And it's good to always do something, come back, look at it later, because um, your eye deceives you many times. So this is the uh, Mr. Potato Head Man, uh, what he was, what he is. Uh, if, if this uh, was helpful, I'm sorry if this was fast. It's something new I'm trying. If you like the video, please tap, tap, tap that like button. And if you've never seen my videos before and this was cool, uh, subscribe. Join us, join the gang, we're hanging out. Uh, we're the coolest, uh, I don't know, we're not, okay, we're not, maybe not the coolest, but we're cool, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.